Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Lilani, and today I'm gonna to be doing a pretty fun video. Jaclyn Hill just uploaded a video like three, four hours ago where she did half of her face all matte makeup and half of it highlighted. And on Snapchat, she was saying that she wanted this to become like a new tag challenge video. So I'm filming right now at, what time is it? Okay, it's not that late, it's not even nine o'clock, but I am planning on filming this tonight and putting it up tomorrow, and maybe I'll have one of the first videos up to do this tag video. So Jacqueline, if you're seeing this, I love you. Thank you for being an inspiration. You're probably not gonna see this, but I love that you came up with this challenge and I'm excited to try it out. So let's get started. I'm starting with my brows already on because they are not affected at all in this challenge. It is all face makeup, eye makeup, lips, all that is gonna be affected. So I'm gonna do this half of my face matte just because of this little guy right here. I don't wanna accentuate that by putting glowy highlighty stuff on it. So this side is gonna be matte and this side is gonna be glowing, glowing. Now, I'm usually a matte girl because I have fairly oily skin. I think most people with oily skin try to combat that with matte products. If I do do a really glowy, dewy face, I end up looking like an oil slick, although I have been starting to kind of dabble in the highlighted, dewy, glowy looks. And they're really nice when you first put them on, but I definitely can't go a full day in a look like that. I don't have as many highlighting type objects as I do matte objects, so some of the things I'm gonna have to kind of get creative and we'll see how it goes. Okay, to start, I'm gonna use a primer. I don't have any glowy, dewy primers, so I'm just gonna use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer all over my face because this will just make a nice base for glowy products and matte products. For foundation on the matte side of my face, I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation because this is a nice matte finish. And we're just gonna pop that on. It's like doing the whole power of makeup thing all over again where you have to just keep things on one half of your face. It's so awkward. I'm gonna use a sponge to blend that out. Moving on to the dewy side. I only have one dewy foundation and that is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. And this is actually a little bit dark for me because it's my summer color. I'm gonna try adding some of this Temp2 Liquid Glow to the foundation to see if it'll help lighten it up a little bit. I don't even know if this is gonna work, but, and it adds a little extra glowiness to it. So I'm just gonna mix that up on the back of my hand. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna add a touch of my Pro Matte in the shade 101 because that's more my color. I actually still mix 101 and 102 in the matte shade. So we'll add a little bit of that because I figure if we're adding the liquid glow, we'll get a lot of dewiness from that anyway, so having a little bit of matte foundation in there shouldn't be a problem. And we'll do two drops. Oh, there's a blouse. Three. Three drops, that'll be fine, right? I'm gonna be so glowy. Okay, that shade actually is not too bad. That is so dewy. Matte. Glow. Glow. So this right here is something that I like for like the next hour. It'll be good for that long, maybe. But after that, it's gonna get oily. For concealer, I'm just gonna use the same concealer on both sides, the Tarte Shaped. And I'm just gonna do this under the eyes today. Usually I would do like highlighting with this, but because we're gonna be using so many highlighting products, I'm just gonna keep with this underneath the eyes. And I'll prep my eyelids with that as well. I actually have the perfect thing to use for setting my face. I have the Bare Minerals Translucent Duo, and this literally has a matte powder and a glow powder. So this will be perfect. I'm gonna set uh, the matte side of my face first because I'm just using the same brush for both sides. Actually, before I set this side, I don't really have a shimmery powder bronzer, so I'm gonna go in with the Temp2 Liquid Shimmer Bronzer to do the shimmery side of my face. So I'm just drop that on the back of my hand. Now, shimmery bronzer is something that I definitely 
never use. I like my bronzer to be matte, like really, really matte, which is why I don't have a powder one. Glad I hung on to it because it's coming in handy. That doesn't give me a ton of color, but I think it's enough for the purposes of this video. At least it's something. Now I'm going to go in and set it with the glow powder from this. I actually really love this glow powder as kind of like a prep for my highlight. I actually like to set the highlight portion of my face with this, but I have definitely never set my entire face with it. Look at all that texture that you can already see with all these glowy products. But man, do I look highlighted already. And I haven't even put highlight on my face. Like, look at how shiny that is. It's definitely very pretty, but again, like I said, it's not that I don't like the look, it's that it can go from dewy to greasy real fast. I'm gonna do my bronzer on this side and then I'm gonna do a quick comparison at this stage. I'm gonna go into my Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm going to bronze up a little bit with the center shade here. Okay, now that the bronzer's on, let's take a look. I definitely like the look of the glowy side better right now, but I also, normally would put like highlight on like I'd usually have this matte of the face but then put highlight on on top of that and maybe even a shimmery blush but it definitely makes my skin look drier this makes it look more supple and healthy but saying that this side in a couple of hours is gonna look probably almost as dewy as this side because I am oily but I do love the look of this side like, look how fresh and beautiful that looks. And then this side's just kind of like... <laughs> Moving on, let's do some blush. For the matte side, I'm going to use Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Apricot in the Middle. And then for the dewy side, I'm going to use the Studio Makeup Luminous Loose Blush. They're similar colors. This one has shimmer in it. This one is matte. I'm gonna move on to my eyes next, I think. And what better way to do this than to use the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I'm just gonna be doing a basic eye look. I'm going to be taking the shade uh, MFEO, pop this guy in my crease. So the major difference that Jaclyn did for this look is she used the same colors in the crease, but then on the lid she used a matte white shadow on this eye and a shimmery white shadow on that eye. So I'm gonna do kind of a similar thing. So the same color going on both creases. And I'm gonna go in with the color Pooter, this guy right here. Darken up the corner a little bit. Do that onto the lid a little bit. For the lid shade on my matte side, I'm gonna use the Pure Soiree Diaries. I'm gonna go into the color Socialite. That's just a nice natural looking everyday kind of eye look. And then for the other side, I'm gonna go into the color Bouquet Toss by ColourPop. This one has a little bit more of a pinkish undertone than the other one, but they're both kind of a peachy shade. And this one has lots of shimmer in it. And that is just making the lid pop far more already. This is almost like a daytime to nighttime kind of look. I'm gonna finish off the under eye with the same two colors I started with, which is MFEO and Pooter. I'm gonna mix them together and just swipe them under the eye. Now for the highlighted side, I'm obviously gonna have to use a highlight on my inner corner and my brow bone, so I'm gonna use the color Enlight. Shine up that inner corner. Bam! And a little bit on the brow bone. So pretty. I mean, look at that inner corner highlight compared to this one. I look so much more awake. And it just like lifts the eye and opens it up. Jacqueline used her and light eyeshadow that I just put on the inner corner and she put it on her waterline as well. I cannot stand putting shadows in my waterline. So I'm gonna go in with this eye pencil. This is the Beauty For Real Shadow Sticks in the color Ever Starstruck. And this is just a really pretty shimmery eyeliner. Well, Technically, it's an eyeshadow, but I'm gonna stick that in the waterline. And then she didn't use anything on her matte side, but I'm gonna go in with a nude pencil because it's just a matte color. I'm gonna do that on this side as well. 
Now for this, honestly, I think you can definitely just get away with using a matte regular nude pencil and it'll bring that brightness to your eye without actually being like a glowy shimmery color. This highlight shade actually didn't have tons of pigment so it's almost not doing much. I'm gonna quickly pop on some mascara. This has nothing to do with the glowy or matte side either so I'm using the same thing on both sides. Now that the eyes are done, it's time to get really glowy on the side of my face. I think we're gonna mix some highlights together. I'm gonna use Mary Luminizer by The Balm and top it with a little Artist Couture to really make things blinding. The Mary Luminizer, I'm gonna use a bigger brush and just start emphasizing all my texture. So for highlight, I usually do my cheekbone and then kind of wrap it above the brow just a little bit. And then let's try to get half the nose and half the cupid's bow. And then I do not highlight my chin because that gets greasy way too fast. And then for the Artist Couture, I'm gonna use a fan brush. Ooh, I did not close the sifter. And we'll go in and top this off. Ooh, this stuff is intense. And it's also making my texture pop like crazy. Oh, look at this. Two, two, two. Mm. I love it. I love it. So even though I prefer my face makeup to be very matte, I love a pop and highlight. For lips, I'm gonna use my Tarte Tartist Lip Paint in Home Slice that I just got in my BoxyCharm, and I love it. So I'm just gonna do this all over my lips, and then I'm gonna apply gloss on the glowy side. In the viewfinder, it looks like I didn't put my lipstick up as high on this side, but looking straight in the mirror, they look the same. I think the reason for this is because I have highlight on this lip. And it's actually making it look plumper because they are literally the exact same in the mirror. That's trippy. That's really trippy. I never thought it would make that much of a difference. I just always automatically highlight my cupid's bow. I don't even remember last time I wore lipstick without highlight on my cupid's bow. But that's crazy. It makes that much of a difference. This is like literally one of the only glosses I own. It's from Unique. A friend gave it to me and so that's what I'm using. Oh, that feels weird having gloss on one side of my lips. And I am not a gloss person at all. I hate wearing gloss. I hate the way your hair gets stuck to it. And I don't like that it like slides all over your lips. That looks really weird too. Holy crap, it doesn't make my lips look bigger though. Look how juicy this side looks. Okay. I <sighs> Maybe I kind of like gloss. Damn, this side looks so good. Aside from this texture in here. This side looks so dull. Wow. I don't know how I'm feeling about this right now. Let's start with the eyes. Wait, first I need setting spray. I don't have a uh, dewy setting spray or mattifying setting spray, so I'm just gonna use the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Okay, now let's go through this piece by piece. For the eyes, I mean, I like a matte eye, but I think I'm digging this side even more. I like the highlight under the brow bone that it's kind of lifting eye and that inner corner highlight I mean it makes me look way more awake way more refreshed I do like the color I put in the waterline on this side more though I feel like this side looks more awake on the bottom if that makes sense but having that shimmer shadow on the eyelids definitely makes it pop a lot more and makes my eyes look bigger lips definitely notice a huge difference putting the highlight above my lips the gloss makes them look bigger and not as dry, but I'm still, I am not a gloss person. Oh, but they look so good. I might have to start dabbling in gloss. You guys, this is ridiculous. I don't like gloss. And then as for the skin, I mean, this side actually looks really dull without a highlight on my cheekbone. And this side just looks so good. This is crazy. I'm a matte girl. I've always been a matte girl. I love matte skin, matte lips, eyes. I like using shimmer. I can't stop looking at this side of my face. This is ridiculous. Like, I'm just like, wow, this is boring. This is a terrible makeup day. And then I'm like, well, bam, let's go out. This totally surprised me. I thought for sure I'd like my skin better on this side. I might have to start mixing these glow drops into my matte foundation 
just to give it a little bit of luminosity and then still set it with a powder. I think that might help boost that supple look a little bit. And I'm actually kind of liking how that bronzer turned out too. Well, definitely a surprising video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet, please subscribe to my channel so you can see all my future videos. And if you want to do this video, do it. It's fun. You learn a lot. That's for sure. I was surprised when Jacqueline was saying, oh, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I learned this. I learned that. And I'm like, okay, I think I'm going to stick to my guns and like what I like. But no, of course not. That would be too simple. Okay, I'm just going to sign off like this. Okay, bye guys. See you in my next video. What do you think of my face? I did both sides differently. Which one do you like better? I've been staring <laughs> too at busy TV. playing video games. Okay, so there's this side. Yeah, that has a shimmer to it. That one's more matte. Mhm. Mm Which one do you like better? I like the matte. Really? Yeah. Why? More natural. Huh. What about the lips? Which side do you like better on the lips? I like the shimmer on the lips. A little sparkle to it. What about the eyes? I like the shimmer side of them. But my skin, you like the matte? Yeah. That's funny. Just look more natural. You don't like the pop and highlight? It just looks fake. <laughs> oh snap! You heard it here. Kyle thinks highlight is fake, which it is, but <laughs> that's funny.